This is my look inspired by spring. It's meant to be spring almost, but we're probably going to have some snow on the ground in a little while tonight, so anyway, I'm going to just pretend that it's spring already and using my iconic London palette that I got last year in the winter. I haven't really I haven't really been able to use it yet, so I wanted to get that out and get that on my face, or my eyes even. I also used my Iconic London foundation stick, which I am a total lover of. It sits on your skin lovely, and probably one of the few foundations that doesn't stick to my dry areas right here. So, moving on, I will let you go ahead and watch my tutorial, if I haven't already lost you by now, and please don't forget to give me a wee cheeky thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Try to remember what I was trying to say. Okay, thanks guys and hope you enjoy it. So first of all, prep my face with Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser followed by my Kiehl's Herbal Extract Toner and then I then used my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Cream or oil even. And I used that just to make sure that my face was nice and hydrated. Then followed by my Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Eye Opening Serum. Using my little Peter Pointers, just put that underneath my eyes, patted it out and then just smoothed it over. Then I used my Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Cream. And this, was, this is what I use every single day and every single night. Then using my, oh, every single time, Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. I am going to put this on and this will act as my primer, which that's what it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on my face just all over and I don't put it over my eyes though. I'm going to go back and prep that in a little minute. Then using Pawpaw, I use this to hydrate my lips. You can use anything from Vaseline's down to lip balms, any at all, just to keep your, your lips nice. Then using a Tarte Shape Tape and my little Peter Pointers, I'm going to put that all over my eyes and this is going to prep my eyes and this will act as my eye shadow primer. Then using the Iconic London In The Nude and a flat, a flat brush, I'm going to put that on and that is just going to mattify the concealer that I've just used on my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with Peaches and Dreams and I'm going to use the MAC brush 217 and I go in and start bringing that into the transition line. Now usually I would use a, a fuller brush for this. I don't really know why I used this brush but it worked. But you will see in a minute I change and I go and I, I mix this colour with the colour Bellini. But uh, eh, that's just what happens. <laughs> So just doing this and you're going to kind of go in a sweeping motion over the transition and don't worry about getting at the crease. And again, at this stage, don't panic. If it goes up too high or too low, you can rectify it later. You can now see that I'm going to start mixing with Peaches and Dreams and Bellini. And I'm going to take that back over my transition line just to make that a little bit stronger. keep building up until you get to the point where you're quite happy. You're looking for a little bit more of a stronger colour, so again, don't panic. Then using Bellini, you're going to go back in with your 217 and you're going to start taking that into the corner of your eye again and kind of going in sweeping movements. You are going to just keep going and building that colour up and taking it into your crease line. Don't worry, it's going to be kind of messy all over the place. Don't go and get your baby wipes and rub it off, I promise you. It will make sense in a wee minute. So you're just going to keep going back and forward and strengthening that colour. Just until you get to the point where you know you can really see it. You don't have to go really strong with it. It just really depends on what kind of look you're trying to create. The lighting tonight, especially when I've done this, wasn't that great initially, so that's why I just kept going. So you'll see, I just keep going back and forward and building it up until I am happy. Now 
Then get in with Merlot Mundies, or Merlot Mundies, let's be honest, I never pronounce anything right. You're going to go back over that wee section where initially you have just put uh, Bellini, and I know probably you're thinking, why are you just doing that? It's just to kind of intensify it, and those two colours together are lovely. So just keep putting it on, you'll see I keep losing focus of the camera. So we'll just keep going back and forward until you are happy. And then go back in again with Merlot Mondays. Oh, one of these days I'll pronounce things properly. Now it's kind of self-explanatory what we're doing here. So if, as long as you're kind of doing something like that to your eyes, then you're going to get the look that I eventually have. Then again, in with Deep Soul, you're then going to just take that into the outer section. You're not going to go right over the colour you've just put in. You're going to just put it just to the a tiny, tiny, basically if you like halfway um, over the Merlot Mondays. And it's just so that it gives you depth and gives you a wee bit more of a smoky eye. Then I'm going to use Icon and I think I use, yeah I do, Icon and Peach Fizz and using a little flat brush you're going to just kind of pat that on and then you can kind of push the colour around a, a little bit as well. Again you can go, you can make this as shimmery as you like, this was a kind of spring look, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking because it's snowing outside, um, however it's a, uh, I thought it was nice to just do a nice spring look, which is worth mentioning, I videoed this actually a couple of nights ago. <laughs> this is me just getting round to doing the full edit on it. Using my cotton pads tonight because I didn't have any baby wipes. Don't know why I keep saying tonight, let's just go for it. Using my cotton pads on Monday night, I just went in and I cuddled, cuddled my eyes, covered underneath my eyes. Then once I'd done that, um, I didn't cover underneath my eyes at all. I cleaned underneath my eyes. Once I've done that, I then just put back in with that deep soul and just, you know, just deepened my eyeshadow just that little bit more. And again, I'm going to use deep soul and using a nice little angled brush. This is going to now work as my liner. Again, you'll see there's there's not really a lot going on here. I just wanted it just to be really really simple, just to put a wee bit of depth into my where my eyeliner usually would be. But because this is meant to be a kind of soft spring look. I didn't really feel that I wanted to put some, you know, any black on. So don't get too precious with this section here. Just as long as you can kind of see the colour dif difference. When you do one, have a little look in the mirror and think, oh yeah, I can see that that looks different. Then you know that you're, you're you've done it properly. You see, I just put a nice wee blob eyeshadow on my eye there. <laughs> don't worry about it. You can go back and fix it just blend it out. Oh, so we just see this, what I do in a minute. So this is just my eyelashes, and I'm just using Eye Lure Lashes, which I will link below. And just using dual glue, give it a wee 30 seconds and apply. I probably made that look really easy, but wait, you're gonna see in a second how easy it sometimes isn't. There you go, look at that. Well, I didn't want to edit that out, I just wanted to show you that I'm real and I do make loads of different mistakes. <laughs> Once that's on and you are happy, you are good to move on. So using my Iconic London, this is my foundation stick and Iconic, Icon, I can't speak tonight. Icon one, just put it all over your face. I just kinda, I, I just, Basic little colour on there. <laughs> it works, I promise. I don't know what this brush is called because it was just part of a set, but it's kind of it's like a foundation brush. I really, really, I really like this brush. And just put your foundation all over, it and don't forget to get your hairline under your eyes and the wee sections under your nose, around your lips, and do not forget your jawline. I will do a tutorial just fully on my foundation routine. So I, I'm absolutely loving 
this foundation stick so now I'm using it every single day it's just brilliant I love it so you see as well I haven't covered my lips with my foundation because you'll see why at the end then using my Sarah Hill concealer which I love uh, and this is not milk bottle using your fingers you're just going to use that just to pat underneath your eyes I just really like it because it gives you a, a beautiful finish it's not you know sometimes when you see concealers and you've got a little bit of a halo around your eyes and uh, in pictures and things this just doesn't give you this it gives you a, a beautiful finish especially in photos you can buy it straight from Sarah Hill's site or you can buy it from Cult Beauty I will link it below so just kind of put it on like this is a really kind of you'll probably notice that I keep going fresh with everything I just love fresh skin I love to be able to see skin so a lot of my makeup looks haven't been heavy um, I will do a couple of heavy, heavier ones because I know that it's obviously what a lot of people want to see so you see I'm kind of going round the lips this is just basically just to make them look a wee bit more full then I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury hold on a wee minute <laughs> my airbrush flawless finish and I'm just going to use a nice big fluffy flat brush and I'm just going to push that concealer in just to mattify it slightly just so that it doesn't crease that's never a good look <laughs> kickaboo <laughs> so using my 217 again I'm going to go back in with Bellini and Merlot Mondays and I'm just going to then take that colour underneath my eyes. I really love doing this with my eyes. It just looks really nice. <laughs> so again, you can put as much as you want on. Uh, I do go back and forward a couple of times just to get it. Just so there's nothing worse when you see something that eyes are gorgeous on top and then it's unfinished on the bottom. Don't be scared. It'll probably fall all over your face, but just get a big fluffy brush and remove it. I've also went off camera and done my eyebrows, you've probably noticed. Then getting in with Icon, I'm just taking a nice little kind of pencil brush and I'm going to just push that in to my tear ducts and just slightly underneath my eyes. There is other products you can use that are stronger for this, but like I said, this look is very kind of meant to be bright and breezy. Then getting in with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and a nice blusher brush. I'm going to contour my face just like this. You'll notice as well that I kind of go, I kind of sweep it up the way. Um, I'm not really into the big line. I, I like to kind of, I want it to look as if my cheekbones just, my cheekbones are just as high as that. <laughs> so just keep working it until you're quite happy. And don't worry, if you put too much on, just go in with kind of iridescent powder or in a wee bit paler and just kind of go over it and it will diffuse it. And then I'm going to take it onto my forehead. You see I put a nice wee blob on my head there. <laughs> ah well, I fixed it. And there's that bloody hair. Baby hairs, babies I've got a lot to answer for. And then taking it onto my jawline and just sweeping it underneath my jawline ever so slightly. Now again, I don't know what this brush is called. It's just another iconic London brush. I am now going to contour my ugly nose. Now I'm just using powder. And I'm just at this moment in time putting the colour um, down my nose, onto the, the tip of my nose. And then I'm just kind of blending it out just so there's no harsh line. And then with my fluffy brush, I'm just going to make sure there's no harsh lines. You don't have to do this step, but I have an ugly nose, so. Ah, oh, what do you do? Then again, I have no idea what it is. It's just a big fluffy brush. Come back in with Give Me Sun. I'm just going to then kind of bronze my face up. Just kind of put it anywhere we want to be a bit more bronze. Now, don't worry, you won't, you know, you, you won't diffuse your contour by this set. Oh, look at that hair. Oh, I want you to do a Britney. Cut it all off. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to go back and forward and just basically bronze out exactly what you want. 
then using Stila and uh, Lilium. I'm probably still not pronouncing that right, is it Stila? Somebody help me out. And you're just going to smile and just kind of push it into the apples of your cheeks. Again, this is a really, really beautiful kind of fresh, fresh kind of skin kind of uh, blusher, but I really like it. I'm going to do a tutorial on another product that I just got. And oh man, I'm loving life. See, I kind of go back and forth just to build that up. It is very buildable, so if you're uh, a blusher gal, you know you like a good blusher, then yeah, it still it works great. Just you do have to build it up, so be patient. Then I'm going to get in with my Laura Geller. Oh, look at that! Bloody wrong way round. Oh, I swear. Uh, peach glow, and you're going to use your fingers, and you're just going to kind of pat that onto your um, under where you use the highlight your sections just in that bone. You're, and can I bring it up? You can put it underneath the brow bone, you can put it above the brow, onto the bridge of the nose, down on the tip of your nose, just wherever you want to highlight. I think I've done it everywhere, didn't I? I keep going to see it uh, tonight on Monday. I just want to have a really kind of glowy look, as if my skin is just beautiful. So again, it's very buildable. Then, using my How About Them Apples, I'm going to use the colour Cider. Now, you know earlier I put my paw pot on. I didn't want to, basically that's still on there, so what that's going to do is when you put this colour on, it's going to go on more like a little lip gloss, or, or almost like a lip balm. I absolutely love it. It's like £23 and it's worth every little bit of it. Then I'm going to use my Lancome, and it is a juicy shaker in colour Lemon Explosion. Ex Explosion. Now I have no idea why it's lemon explosion because it's orange. But anyway, who am I to say? So kind of put it upside down and then you then just apply it on. And it's it's really really nice. It, you don't get a lot of colour with it though, so you do have to build it up. Everything I'm using tonight is quite buildable. But again, I just wanted to look beautiful before going to my bed, and obviously I painted my tooth. <laughs> and then put your finger in and. Now you're probably thinking I'm a weirdo, but I promise you, I just saved you for getting lipstick on your teeth. <laughs> then, okay, this, um, I love it because it works, but it's absolutely stinking. I don't know what they have done to it. Um, it's All Nighter by Urban Decay. Honestly, it gives me the boot, but it does the trick, so I just keep using it. So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. So feel free to leave me any wee comments below and don't forget to like, like, oh, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.